Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum brothers and sisters If you're watching this video and it's Salah time please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please check out the description section of this video to support the channel Regular viewers will know I've covered the current anti-Islam and anti-immigration riots being carried out across the UK by football hooligans and ignorant working class yobs by detailing the roles both Muslim Andrew Tate and Islamophobe Tommy Robinson have played in inciting them There have been more developments with brothers Sneeko and Shumzi getting involved also. Muslims online have lambasted the bigoted anti-Muslim dwarf Tommy Robinson for his role in turning the tragic loss of life of three children at the hands of a British Christian with Rwandan roots into a thuggish crusade against Muslims and migrants. Muslims have also been particularly harsh on Andrew Tate, a fellow Muslim for siding with people like Tommy who hate Islam and for also riling up the morons out there destroying British towns and cities, targeting UK mosques and physically assaulting British born black and brown people. Let's take a look at what Sneeko had to say. We stand with Andrew Tate, I'm seeing getting a lot of flax in the Muslim community right now. I don't want to talk about what's happening in the UK too much because, bro, whew, difficult to talk about that without getting uh, getting a lot of heat. But he's getting a lot of heat from the Muslim community. And they're like, some people are tough fearing him, but I think he's a good brother and he's addressing some legitimate concerns. So I think Tommy Robinson is a person to align with. No, I think he's a Zio bot. I think he's a Zionist shill. Uh, he definitely hates Islam too. Uh, you can see before October 7th, Tommy Robinson was full on like, oh, the Muslims, they stand against the transgenders, in it. These, these Islamists, these jihadists, they don't like when the fucking faggots and trees come out, eh? All that. And then October 7th happens and he hates it. He starts hating Muslims. Sounds like a Zio shill to me. Let's be real. What's happening in the UK, the Zionists are shaking the jar to try to get Christians and Muslims to be pinned up against each other. Tommy Robinson is an Israeli agent. This dude is, is very clearly bought and sold by the Israeli lobby. That's why he thinks that I'm paid by the Saudi government to promote Islam. Sneak goes promoting Islam to UK boys. He's talking about Islam, you know, starting riots indirectly in the UK while he lays down fat as f***ing grease, having a cheeky pint and smoking a fag. No, I don't think Tate should be aligning with him. I understand why people in Europe are tired of like mass immigration. It makes sense. They want their country to stay their country. And, you know, if J Japan says that, uh, they should say Japanese, then it makes sense. If Americans say that American, that, that there shouldn't be illegal immigrants flooding through, it makes sense. I think Europeans should want to be able to hold on to their culture and it's changing fast and I understand why they're upset. Look, I agree with Brother Sneeko that we shouldn't be takfiring Andrew Tate as it is a sin to say someone is not Muslim when they say they are. And I'm not one of those people that talk only good or only bad about Andrew. I try to keep it as fair as possible. When he does good work for the Ummah in terms of charity and converting new people, I cover it. And when he does harm for the Ummah like committing shirk or inciting anti-Muslim riots, I call it out respectfully. Sneeko said Tate is a good brother and that he backs Andrew, but he also correctly pointed out Tate should not be siding with Tommy Robinson in any capacity because Tommy is an anti-Muslim Zionist with ill intentions. Tommy Robinson pledges allegiance to Israel before he does to the UK. It would not surprise me in the slightest if the incitement of these riots was an Israeli tactic to distract from the horrors they are carrying out in Palestine. Brother Sneeko also said that he agrees with Tate on his stance on illegal immigrants not being able to enter the UK, many of whom happen to be Muslim and why people in Britain would not want that to happen either. Okay, fair enough, but shouldn't the people in the UK, especially the rioters, question the UK government for allowing this to happen rather than attacking British mosques, British police, British Muslims and British ethnic minorities whilst destroying British businesses and British high streets. They should protest peacefully against government officials in front of government buildings. The irony is they're currently doing more damage to the UK than the migrants they want out are doing. And any time we speak about immigration, especially in the context of Europe, we must keep in mind that if European nations and especially UK hadn't invaded, robbed and colonised other countries around the world and stole the resources from them in order to build Britain and left those countries they bled dry in poverty and in debt to them, maybe nobody would want to migrate here. You can't just oppress the world and take everything from them, then get mad when they turn up at your doorstep looking for a better life so they can use the resources you stole from them in the first place. The hypocrisy is incredible. Let's take a look at what Brother Shumzi had to say about Tate siding with Tommy Robinson. Here we go, we have Andrew Tate. Subhanallah, you claim you to be Muslim, yet you try to justify what Tommy Robinson and his followers are doing. Instead of defending the religion that you claim to follow, which Tommy Robinson hates. What are you doing? You try to justify Tommy Robinson's action and his followers. Tommy Robinson is a liar, deceiver, Islam hater, a racist. Look what happened in Southport. It has nothing to do with Islam and the Muslims. Yet, they try to, to utilize it to justify the attack on the mosques. And the Muslim women, they are cowards. And you claim to stand for manhood. How can you support or uh, praise or justify or defend this evil liar. Tommy Robinson, by the way, does not represent British people. He represents 
criminals. So this person is a follower of Satan. Yes, Islam teaches us to be fair and to be just and to stand firm with those who have been oppressed, even if they are non-Muslims. But not Tommy Robinson or his followers. What the Muslims and the mosques have to do with what happened in South Ports. Yeah, that man, he was a Christian. Why they not protest outside churches? If someone claims to be Muslim and we notice that he's trying to mix Islam with any falsehood, we'll come out and expose him. We'll try to advise him in private or even openly. But if we notice that he's doing it on purpose, we expose him. So fear Allah and remember you're going to die by yourself and you'll be in the grave by yourself and you stand before Allah the Almighty, the greatest by yourself. Have some time by yourself and read the Quran with reflection. And how can you compare what's happened in Britain to what's happened in Gaza? You really need to check your tweet before you tweet. Anyway, may Allah guide you. Brother Shamsi made many of the same points I made in my previous video in response to Tate's tweet in support of Tommy Robinson, which he has now deleted. I especially like how Shamsi said Tommy Robinson does not represent average everyday British people who are mostly tolerant and nice folk, and that Robinson's followers are criminals or ignorant people with bad intentions. He was also right about this being evident through how rioters are targeting mosques and Muslim women despite knowing the Southport attack is Christian and when they found out he was Christian no churches were targeted nor should they be but that is clear evidence of Islamophobia. And Shumzi was correct about Tate being wrong for comparing discriminatory nationalist brutes to Palestinian survivors and shaheeds as well as committing the forbidden act of supporting Tommy Robinson, a man who expresses hatred for Muslims and Islam. I agree with Shumzi that Muslims should call each other out, firstly in private then in public if it has no effect, especially in cases when haram is being committed which directly harms other Muslims and non-Muslims. And the best advice Shamsi gave Tate was to go read the Quran and reflect so that he can learn about Islam more. In response to Shamsi, Andrew Tate respectfully refused to acknowledge his mistake and also refused to side with Muslims over Tommy Robinson, but he seems open to discuss it with Shamsi on a podcast. Tate even asked Piers Morgan to platform him so he could discuss the UK riots with him, and from Piers' response, it looks like it's going to happen soon. Hopefully, Andrew doesn't incite any more violence against Muslims on Piers' show. However, even Piers Morgan, who Muslims have boycotted due to his unfair treatment of Muslim guests during his Israel Palestine coverage, seems to have a more sympathetic view towards Muslims and migrants during these riots than Andrew Tate has. And not only that, the rat king of the Islamophobes himself, Tommy Robinson, even requested Tate to do a podcast with him, saying that he will make him into an apostate by the end of it, to which Tate simply replied, do you condemn Israel? For Tommy Robinson, it's not about immigrants, it's about Muslim immigrants. We embrace migrants that come to this country and love it. The problem is Islamic migrants come to this country and declare war on they wish to subjugate us. They're not here to integrate or assimilate. They're here to dominate. He's using immigration as a guise to target Muslims. He's also been on record saying he doesn't like practicing British Muslims and that he will only tolerate moderate Muslims who don't practice their religion and think and act like non-Muslims. This is discrimination in its purest form. Let's contrast Tommy's stance with Tate's stance. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that people arriving on boats, unchecked migration, irregardless of whether they're from the Islamic world or the African third world Christian nations. I think the whole thing is disgusting. Just turn up without a passport and get free housing, and get put in a hotel for free, and then run around and break the law. When men face losing their lands, eventually there's going to be some form of violence as they resist that. The average white man isn't, doesn't feel safe to put his daughter out in the street anymore. My message to the British patriots is the problem are not the Muslims you live amongst. You have more in common with the men you live amongst than you do the people who are making these insane policies. Same thing I'll say to the Muslims. The problem is not the average British man you live amongst. I don't think that the problem is Muslims. I think the problem is the government refusing to listen to men who are worried about losing their lands. So this is not even an Islamic issue. Stop confusing and conflating it with racism, with Islam. It seems like Tate and Tommy are talking about two different things. Or maybe Tate is just backtracking because of the backlash he received. The men he is calling British patriots are rioters that are being outright racist and Islamophobic. There is no threat of them losing their country. They make up over 80% of the population. Ironically, after this video, even Tate spoke about being on the receiving end of racism from these so-called British patriots due to him being brown. And this just proves my point. These rioters are not just protesting illegal immigration. They're protesting against people of colour and people who follow Islam, whether they are British or not. Tate has been trying to be more representative of Islam after the backlash he has received from Muslims online. As you can see here, he has highlighted how Islam is not the problem, as is evident through how safe the Gulf nations in the Middle East are. And in his response to Muslim critics saying negative things about him online, he says Islam is peace and love and that he will pray for Muslims even if they oppose him. I don't know how much of this is a damage limitation PR job, but as Muslims we should give him the benefit of the doubt. But the onus is on Andrew to repent and to make this right public 
publicly by calling a halt to the violence, as Muslim women and men, as well as ethnic minorities in general, are being attacked up and down the country, like we've gone back in time a hundred years. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join my free Telegram group via the link in the description, where we as Muslims can speak freely and without censorship about issues like this. And remember to like, subscribe, and become a channel member for access to exclusive content. Until next time, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah